use of urban solid waste at Technological Institute of Toluca. Presented by Professor Isaias de la Rosa Gomez. There is a problem with the worldwide generation of greenhouse gases. Of such gases the equivalent of 2.2 metric tons per day was caused by not processed urban solid waste of the Technological Institute of Toluca. The waste is composed primarily by organic material, plastic bottles and food packaging. The objective is to support the commitment of the federal government to reduce greenhouse gases by 22% through the comprehensive management of urban solid waste and meet the objective of not increasing the temperature of Earth's atmosphere by more than one half Celsius contemplated in the 2030 Agenda of the United Nations. The Technological Institute of Toluca has created an administrative structure to face the diverse branches of the issue. These branches are water, energy, dangerous waste and urban solid waste. The management of the urban solid waste is carried out by the Institutional Environmental Program also called PI by its Spanish acronym. The PI is structured like the diagram shows. At the top, there is a senior management, followed by the coordinator of the PI, aided directly by the administrative assistant and social service students. The PI contemplates two types of programs, internal and external ones. The internal programs consist in Environmental Education Paper Temporary Stock PET Temporary Stock Organic Solid Waste Composting Green Point The external programs are Nevado de Toluca Sierra Morelos Park Alkaline Battery Storage Municipal Solid Waste Mitigation the whole philosophy behind the disposing of solid waste follow the rules of the four R's. Re-educate, reduce, reuse and recycle. Re-educate the people inside and outside the institution about proper waste management culture and methods to accomplish the effective reduction of the waste produced. Reduce. Urging people to diminish the amount of consumption of useless materials that end up piling on landfills and to consider change their consumption habits in order to choose the more environmental friendly options. Reuse. To find a second life to already used items that may not be suitable to fulfill their primary use or the use they were made for, but to use creativity to handcraft some other products that use materials that otherwise would end up as waste. This saves energy consumption because is a step between the primary use of an object and its final destination which ideally, is recycling. Recycling is basically using industrial techniques to transform products back to raw material ready to be used to manufacture something else. Environmental education involves giving lectures to people from all academic levels and ages, the younger the better, since at those ages they can absorb better the message and early develop an environmental culture that will grow through the years. To aid the diffusion of the environmental culture, a group of social service students developed the Interisatech magazine which contains environmental articles, general interest texts and reuse or recycle techniques to adopt in daily life. The magazine is printed out in reused bond paper and it's distributed on certain points inside the institution and outside in environment-related events. The magazine is distributed via e-magazine online as well. All around the institute, the PI have batteries of containers properly labeled so the personnel, alumni and anyone else can put their waste in the proper container. Those containers were divided as follows. White ribbon container for paper and cardboard. Black ribbon container for metal and glass. Red ribbon container for organic waste. Blue ribbon container for general waste. Yellow Ribbon Container for PET and HDPE After the adoption of new normative, the batteries of containers were reduced to ONLA 4 containers per battery, which facilitates the relocation and classification of residues. The new color codes are Yellow Ribbon for Paper, Cardboard and Stationary Related Waste Blue Ribbon for PET HDPE, 
Tetra Pak, and other recyclable plastics. Green ribbon for organic waste, wood, leaves and food waste. Black ribbon for non-recyclable inorganic waste. Expanded polystyrene food trays, cellophane, mirrors, ceramic, metallized food packaging plastics, and so on. The organic solid waste collected is then processed at the composting site. First, the waste is air and sun-dried, then is chopped up using a chipper shredder. After being chopped, the residue is treated along with biosolid using a novel compost method which fully compost organic matter in less than a month. The compost produced is used to fertilize the green areas of the institution and it is given free to the public at environmental-related events, locally and nationally. The material that is susceptible to have a second use is transported to the reuse workshop. There the students classify and process the diverse materials. The most reused material is bond paper sheets. The paper is classified by its quality, faces used and color. All the paper with a clean face is bound to make notepads of diverse sizes which are given to students, personnel and general public for free. The paper that cannot be bound or reused is sent with the rest of the recyclable waste already classified to the temporary storage where it waits until is sold to a local recycler company. The resources obtained through selling recyclable material are used to fund all the activities of the PI, which is a self-financed program. The work carried out by the people involved in the PI is often presented in local, national and international events through panels, lectures, posters and product stands. The main event of the PI is the commemoration of the World Earth Day. At the PI, all the recyclable waste is weighted and registered to have not only control but the statistics on the production of such wastes on the institution. In the table we can see the yearly numbers for the recyclables. White paper, 5,100 kg. Newspaper and magazines, 1,200 kg. Cardboard, 613 kg. PET, 750 kg. HDPE, 224 kg. Iron and or steel, 85 kg. Aluminum 54 kg. Electronic waste, 140 metric tons. The reused material given for free and social service provided by the students is also registered and is shown in the table. Letter-sized notepads, 1,971 units. Small-sized notepads, 513 units. Social service release, 18 students. Fulfilled extra credits. 248 students. Service for administrative offenses. 22 students. Environmental education talks. 1,120 students. Also, a fraction of the organic solid waste produced in the cafeteria is used in composting research projects. The compost and notepads are also given to the general public of the event of the World Earth Day commemoration where many industrial, social and government leaders gather to know about the environmental objectives reached by the Technological Institute of Toluca that year. Another of the external programs of the PI are the cleaning of municipal solid waste of the Nevado de Toluca, the common name of the Xinantaquatl volcano in which students of the institute gather the garbage left behind by tourists on the area. Also, the electronic waste gathering program, known as Green Spot, consists in the campaign to invite the general public to deposit their broken or old electronic devices into our container so they can be given to a proper e-waste recycling company, so the waste receive an adequate final disposition. The last program of waste management carried out by the PI is the gather of alkaline batteries. All year round there is a campaign inviting the public to collect alkaline batteries and deposit them in our containers, and then with the help of Toluca Municipality those batteries are sent to proper and secure containment and isolation to prevent them from leaking dangerous chemicals into the groundwater.